morning, guys. It's uh, Chris here, Survival Dispatch, and my good buddy Donnie Dunn, who What's you'll up, be guys? seeing a lot more of soon. So, Donnie used to be in the firearms industry. He worked for a gun company. He's owned his own survival food company, and he goes out and trains and practices his skills all the time. So, you guys are going to be seeing more of Donnie. And today, we're dropping some trees out here at my place, uh, getting making some room for some stuff. And everybody talks about swamp cabbage and eating swamp cabbage. <laughs> and uh, we're going to show you just how hard this shit is to get to. Uh, not using an axe or a machete, mm -hmm. we're going to use a chainsaw. And you'll see how long it takes with a chainsaw to get to this. More thing. or less to show people it's what's involved in it mm -hmm. and, and do it quickly. A lot see, of work. Ben came in and trimmed this tree up already. But I'm going to grab the chainsaw, we'll reset, and we'll cut this thing down, and we'll show you guys where the palm heart is. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to cut it off about right here. And I'm going to split it right down the middle so we can just lay it just open lay it and out let them see it. And get the, yeah, let them see the it. The layers of the heart in it. So we might need to get some... Uh, couple of milk crates or something to set it on so I don't dig my blade and the chain in the sand. But we'll set up and show you guys. Roger that. So we've got it cut down, as you can see, this section. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna split it in half because I want to be able to show you guys what the inside of the thing looks like. And and it's a bitch to get into these. I mean, I couldn't imagine using an axe and a machete. Well, it'd take a while. It'd I mean, take you a hot Indians minute. Did it. They did it, and uh, it takes a while. Yep. So we're gonna split this bad boy open. See what it looks like. Uh -huh. So there is the center. Where's a, give me a kukri or something. That's the center of the palm. Of course, the chainsaw made a damn mess of it. But it's this stuff right here. Stop a little bit. If we get this so right there is essentially your swamp cabbage. A little dirty, but from the chainsaw, but all that will scrape off. And it's edible. That's a little hard. Here, hang on. It's still too hard. Is it? Get yeah, down get in the middle of it. Yeah. Cut it out. Right there. That's about right there. Let's see if this wants to break out. Yeah, it's down in there. Huh. It'll break it out. Yeah, there we go. There's some of the good, good. Go down in here. Right there. So that right there is the good stuff. Yeah. Nice and sweet. And this is the pure heart. That's where the bud actually forms, is right there. And so you can peel these layers out, and they'll be soft up to a point. Then you ditch them, but you can even see the change in color, how bright white it is here. It starts to yellow up there. Good though. The deeper in, the sweeter it is. Yeah, the deeper you go, the better it gets. Yeah. Now this is a tremendous source of um, nutrition in a, in a crisis. Well, carbohydrates. Yeah, a lot of carbohydrates for functionality. Um, it can be cooked, boiled in a soup. It can mm -hmm. be beat down and ground down and made into a bread like the Seminole Indians did. And there's a lot of stuff. This is the, one of the um, easiest sources of carbs in the swamp anyway. And since carbs are the hardest thing to come by in nature, mm -hmm. that right there is a whole lot of carbohydrate. Oh, yeah. We say it tastes kind of like a, like a sweeter than a potato, not oh, yeah. not, a, not as acidic. Not as sweeter as a potato, yeah. not as starchy. Yeah, 
It's not it's not a bad flavor. It really oh, it's is. a good plain it's flavor. It's actually good, yeah. It's really good. We've been eating on it all day. Yeah, we've cut down a couple of these already. And it's not keto. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Carbs. It's all natural. Well, I guess so. But that's what the inside of one looks like. Now imagine having to take all this out. Which is that. You could do it. Just a lot of work. But that steel does it a hell of a lot faster. Yeah. Um and yeah, it's gonna be a crap load of work. But so that's your palm heart. Right there. In a pinch, in a crisis, it's a great source of, oh, yeah. of this food in general. Yep. And if you've got a group, mm -hmm. but you can work together and harvest the stuff. Yeah. It's everywhere in Florida. You can um, get a lot of food quick. That is really sweet right there. Yeah. So that's swamp cabbage. I know in the books, a lot of people have read about it, wondered about it, and asked about it. But this is what we're talking about. Just this starchy white middle piece. A little bit on the end of the leaves. And these are all stiff, hard up through here. Down here, nice and soft. But the bud, the growing bud, is what you're looking for. Maybe we should do recipes. <laughs> yeah. We'll pickle some swamp cabbage. Yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for checking this one out. There'll be more coming. And uh, from, from Donnie D. That's more, yep. And me, and Ben behind the camera, and, and Vinny okay. standing over there hiding, smoking cigarettes. See you guys next time. Later. <laughs>